Greetings people of YouTube, this is MKM Forever, Tony once again. And I'm just trying to wanna make this uh quick little video right here. It's uh you probably saw the title up there, it says trailer reactions or trailer thoughts. So this is what I'm gonna be talking about. I wanna keep this in one part so only so I can upload it try to upload it today. Um and uh I I'm gonna be talking about some trailers in this video that uh I've seen recently, and I want to give my thoughts on them, you know, real quickly. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's get started. The first trailer I want to talk about is uh, a movie that I heard was getting made um, a while back. I finally saw a trailer for it the other day, thanks to Efri, sent me the link to it. Thanks, man. And anyway, that, that uh, the movie I'm talking about is Men in Black 3. Now, Men in Black 3, I saw the trailer for it. What are my thoughts on it? Um, okay, right off the bat, I didn't think you needed it in Men in Black 3, but, you know, it was going to happen either way. But, as for the trailer itself, it's kind of ho-hum to me. It's it's not, it doesn't look, big, because I know Efri's not a big fan of the Men in Black uh, movies. I am, me and Eddie are. He Eddie owns part one and I own part two on VHS. So, um, mm, what can I say about Men in Black Three? It's it's not bad, but I'm not terribly excited about it. You know, just like oh well, it's theirs. You know, so it's like uh, you know, just there. It's gonna it's gonna be there. So you know, so I I don't really care. You know, so it's just. I mean, I don't, I honestly don't think you need a part three, but you got it anyway. But give it a shot over here. Sure, why not? I mean, for three bucks, it might be worth, it might be worth a shot. I mean, three bucks is kind of what you pay in midweek to see a movie over here in T in TJ. So it might be worth three bucks. I don't know if it's worth paying full price over there in the U.S., but it might be worth three bucks. So I'll, you know, might check it out maybe, you know, for the hell of it. Just so I can say, you know, I saw it, then if I don't like it, I can rip it off, I can rip it apart, and, uh, you know, upload it. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on the trailer for Men in Black 3, you know. It's okay, but it's just, it, I'm not terribly excited about it. So, yeah. Now, the other trailer that I saw was, uh, most recently, was uh, the trailer for uh, a movie that I knew was coming out that I had very little hope for. And and that movie is uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation. Now, the first G.I. Joe movie, um, I didn't care for, to be honest. Really didn't care. Didn't see it in the theater. I saw it in the bus. And um, <laughs> some people say, you saw it in the bus? Yeah, well, because I was traveling from one place to another. You know, sometimes they put movies, you know, to kind of like pass the time. So they put G.I. Joe in, but uh, I saw it on the bus and it was... <sighs> I fell asleep. You know, I didn't... Didn't care, you know. Just so I... The first G.I. Joe movie, don't care for. The second G.I. Joe movie, the trailer I saw, looks a little bit better. Like, it might be a little bit better. Which is saying a lot because the director for this, same guy who gave us Justin Bieber's Never Say Never documentary. So that's... Saying a lot, but I mean, I never, I haven't even seen the trailer for Justin Bieber's Never Say Never, Say Never so I want to keep it that way. Um, so yeah, I think as for for the trailer for GI Joe Retaliation, you got The Rock in there, who's playing a roadblock, I think, or and, um, Bruce Willis, who's there as well. He's playing like I guess he's playing the first GI Joe. And, but of course, the thing that ruins it is Channing Pretty Boy Tatum. That, that's the only real problem I have with the movie, because it looks like it's going to be a little darker this time. You know, they got rid of the suits, thank God. You know, that they, they, they pissed me off. They have those freaking suits in the first movie, which you never had in the, uh, in the original stuff, you know. So I'm glad they got rid of those, but you need to get rid of Channing Tatum, man. Or else this is not going to work, you know. But the trailer looks like it might be a good story, you know, very good story. You know, it's written by the same guys who did World Zombie Land, so um, same guys who, who I believe wrote the script for Deadpool, which I don't know if that's ever going to be made. But uh, 
Anyway, that's another video for another day. Um, the trailer looks. I'm. I don't. I'm not expecting much from this movie. Just. I'm expecting this movie to bomb. I don't want it to bomb, but I'm just feel it's gonna bomb for some reason. It's sad because um, it looks like. But I might check it out though. I will check it out for three bucks. I might check it out because it looks like. Uh, judging from the trailer, it looks like they're going to throw Channing Tatum way in the back and have it be about The Rock and Bruce Willis. Well, Bruce Willis looks like he's going to have him just a cameo, but mostly about, about The Rock. So that might be cool. You know, so, uh, um, the trailer looks like it would be a time waster, but, you know, I'm not expecting much from it. I mean, it does look a little better than the first one, but I'm still not expecting greatness, you know. So those are my thoughts on G.I. Joe Retaliation. Now, the other trailer that I saw was this trailer that Efri e sent me, of course. You know, he's sent me a bunch of stuff lately. And uh, this trailer called Cabin in the Woods. Uh, for this movie called Cabin in the Woods. And it's coming out in 2012 of this year. Um, the trailer, it's it start well, the... The, the title of the trailer pretty much, of the movie said, pretty much says it all. Cabin in the Woods. It's about this cabin in the woods. These teens... It stars Chris Hemsworth, Thor himself. And um, these teens that go on in, um, in this cabin, which looks like it's... At first glance, you feel it's going to be a rip-off of Friday the 13th or, or Cabin Fever. You know, one of those you know wilderness movies, you know. But then, little by little, the trailer, you start to see the trailer, and it looks very different. It's kind of, I, I saw this trailer, and I was like, what the f... But, I mean, what the hell? But, I mean, just in a good way, though, in a good way. It was kind of like a nice screw you to the audience, because because usually, you, you see these movies, right? You have a killer, you know, on the loose, and uh, the killer kills off the kid, the teens, or whatever, one by one. But... And this, and the cabin in the woods, it's done differently. It looks like this, looks, looks like it might be, I judging from the trailer, it looks like some corporation is behind that cabin. And, and some, they're like planning this, like, how can I say this? Uh, uh, they're like experimenting on them or something because they, they kind of like this trailer set up. The, no, not trailer, the, the cabin set up. And they're living in the, in the cabin, and um, you know it's kind of like a nice tip of the hat to the uh, slasher films, but it's also its own animal, which I respect. So the cabin in the woods, look, I'm very curious about this, you know, because it's a different uh, take on the cabin uh, movie. So yeah, you know, cabin in the woods, I'm curi very curious about. Um, if it comes over here in to Mexico, sure, definitely I'll go see it. I mean, without a doubt, I mean it's definitely worth. I mean, even if it were over there, I'd pay full price to see it, you know. So, uh, yeah, Kevin Woods looks like it could be a good movie, but still trying to now play it because lately I've been disappointed a lot, but a lot of movies. And so, yeah, Kevin Woods, very curious about. Anyway, the uh, other, uh, what was it? Uh, the other trailer that I saw was a trailer that, again, Efri sent me. Thank you very much, Efri. Called, uh... <clears throat> What, what was it? MS1 Security Maxim trailer. Well, that's the trailer for MS1 Security Maxim. Okay. Now, this trailer looks. Um, what can I say? It's. I don't know who's directed by, but I believe it stars Guy Pierce, which to me, he looks very unrecognizable in this one. Looks like he bulked up a little bit because usually when I see him, he's usually really thin and a little bony, you know. Post personally, this, but he looks really unrecognizable. He looked like he bulked up for the role. Anyway, basically, all I can say is it's Die Hard in space. That's it. That's what it is. You know, it's this guy who, uh, kind of like a renegade, goes off and go save this the president's daughter that's trapped in a spaceship that's taken over by, uh, I guess, terrorists. Uh, so the trailer looks cool. It looks very cool. Okay, I'm excited about this, but I'm also really freaking pissed. Because Efren knows this. I had an idea for a Die Hard on a spaceship. 
be, before I even knew this thing was coming out. I had an idea. Okay, now I'm not now I'm not saying I'm gonna sue anybody because I obviously can't prove anything, but uh but still, you know, I had an idea but it wasn't a guy, it was gonna be a girl, it was gonna be Summer Glau. It, I just wanted to see Summer in that role. Um it was gonna be about um some Summer Glau versus a bunch of alien terrorists. You know, kinda like these predator creature predator like creatures. So, um, you know, so it's, uh, I'm, I love the trailer, but I'm kind of pissed that it's, that I used to have an idea just like this, you know, so that's the only real th problem I have with the trailer, but if it comes to Mexico, will I check it out? Hell freaking yes. I mean, come on, I mean, how can I not? I mean, it's, it's I mean, what could have been, you know, I would definitely see it as a what could have been, but, um... Yeah, definitely. I would check it out. I'm excited for this one. So, yeah. Um, MS1 Security Maximum gets my thumbs up. The trailer, anyway. I don't know how the uh, movie's going to be, but... The movie also stars Maggie Grace, which we saw a little bit of her in Taken. Which, and it's funny, because I think Europa is actually connected to this movie. Which is, you know, pretty cool. You know, so it might, might be a cool, fun, action popcorn movie. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, last but not definitely not least, the teaser. I, I recently saw the teaser for The Expendables Part Two, and um, it's the the teaser is about one, a minute long. But I, this teaser, what can I say about it? It's it's now personally, I'm not expecting much from The Expendables. I'm trying to downplay it. You know, I'm trying to. You know, keeping my expectations very, very low. Because I don't want to be disappointed by it. But I saw the teaser today, and um, Eddie, Eddie saw it with me, actually. And we both agree that teaser got us very, very excited for this movie. But, since it's not Sly, who's directing it? Since it's not um, Sly, who's writing it? Um, we are trying to keep our expectation very low, but I will admit that the teaser got us very, very excited because you know it's an introduction to all all the guys. You know, of course, you know the guys from the original movie, but you also see Van Damme, you see Chuck Norris, you see Schwarzenegger, which looks like he's gonna be l looking badass with a with a, with a fifty cal. You know, and you see, uh, you know, you see Bruce Willis being a little bit of a of the villain here, and um, you see uh, what else? Who do you see? Of course, Liam Hemsworth. You know, is the Chris Hemsworth's little brother, which he looks capable. You know, I at first I, wa I wasn't sure about him, but you know, I'm willing to give him a shot. But I'm not expecting much from him because the last movie he did, I believe, was um, what was it? Uh, that movie with Mike Cyrus called The Last Song. <laughs> so I'm not expecting much from him, but if. I just hope he has his brother's the same touch that he his brother has, you know. So, um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on the Expendables. Trying to downplay it, but very excited about it. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up before I run out of time. Anyway, this is MKM Forever. Tony, sign off. Thank you for watching, and uh, please, of course, uh, leave your comments and suggestions down below. Anyway, later.